I uh, just need to make sure there's enough oxygen flowing there. There we go. This is wanting to burn now. It should burn through. A lot of smoke coming off that. I'm gonna grab some more medium sized branches and sticks just to keep throwing on top of that. Make sure that stays burning. And this is what I was talking about with the sort of reflective material on this tarp here. All the heat from the fire is going to bounce off the top of that and then hit me right on my sleeping bag. So it's going to be nice and warm tonight uh, if the fire stays going. This is not a shelter that will trap heat, but you know I have a pretty, pretty good sleeping bag and I think it's ready for 30 degrees. Probably going to get down to 35, 36 tonight. So it's going to be a bit of a chilly night, but that's no big deal. It'll be fun. Alright, so you can see we got a tripod set up here for when we cook our meals or if we want to dry out any clothing, we're going to just hang it up on here. There's actually a video on our channel that shows you guys how to tie this tripod up. We have sort of a unique way on how we lash it together, so you should go check that out if you're interested. Yeah, so I think we'll throw some food on the fire soon. Getting kind of hungry. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and cook up some food here. Gonna get some water boiling. Go ahead and throw my lid on this here. Alright. Go ahead and sort of make a spot in the fire to put this. A lot of smoke coming off this thing. We'll build a fire up around this a little bit. It's boiling no time. All right, my water is boiling now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Brad's is still. Still working on it. I'm gonna kinda sit down in my shelter here. Sit this down on the stand here. Alright, yeah, cool. Let's see if I can't uh, take this lid off. I can uh, just throw some ramen into here. Go and use my uh, little spork wherever I put that thing right here and mix that up. Add in flavoring now. Mix that up. Uh, it's gonna let this kind of soak in and then we'll see how it turns out in a little bit. All right, everyone, so we had a nice meal. Got some more kindling and fuel for the rest of the night. Probably gonna go out and get some more for the morning in a little bit before it gets too dark. Just gonna relax by the fire for a little bit. And then uh, once it gets dark, maybe we'll have a story to tell you guys. We'll see.
All right, everyone. We got the fire going nice. We have some firewood set for tomorrow. We have some kindling set for tomorrow. So Brad and I are just going to sit back, relax, and uh, I'm going to tell you guys a story. Um, this is a story about a camping trip gone wrong in the UP, and uh, it's also actually our first bear encounter. All right, so the story starts about five years ago when Brad and I were just getting into sort of the primitive camping style where you go out with sort of like the uh, like just the bare essentials and, and you know just try to survive in the woods kind of stuff we get into the more of the survival type camping I mean we've been in Boy Scouts you know for all our lives really and you know we've gone car camping and stuff like that but we wanted, we wanted to get into more like the bare bones uh, you know like the hard difficult camping so um, Brad was 18 at the time I uh, was about to turn 14 so I was 13 and um, we could finally get out and go camping so we drove up to the UP probably about a seven or eight hour drive and um, yeah we drove up to the UP up into you know the thick dense boreal forest up there and um, we didn't know a lot about uh, wilderness areas and stuff like that to camp so we just went down some old logging roads you know on some uh, forest property and hiked into the woods and set up a camp so probably about a two mile three mile hike to our campsite where we had these sort of crappy little uh, uh, like scout tents made of like uh, like polyester and nylon cheap little tents probably about like 20 bucks each and uh, it says they're rated for two people but that's you know if you're you know don't mind being really close to the person so um, I brought a sleeping bag out that was probably rated for 40 degrees and Brad bought a, uh, I think it was a 20 degree or a zero degree bag and um, yeah we, we set up our camp, we made a fire, cooked up some food and uh, that night it got a lot colder than it said it was going to. It got down to I think it was about 20 degrees and my sleeping bag was rated for 40 so uh, I, got, I got pretty cold. <laughs> So, um, you know, in the middle of the night, I, I woke up at probably about midnight, not sure exactly what time it was, knowing that uh, this is going to suck. You know, this, this rest of this night is going to be pretty crappy, unless I'm going to be sitting up by the fire warming myself up. But, you know, back then I was, you know, I wasn't good at <laughs> making fires. So I, uh, I knew that I probably wouldn't be able to get one going in the dark, in the cold, in the middle of the night. Uh, by myself, and I didn't want to wake Brad up. I could have gone into his tent and warmed up, but I just had too much pride or something. I didn't want to go sleep next to my brother, so I uh, I just suffered through the night, and it, it, it was bad. But I, I, wo I woke up in the morning, um, probably got an hour of sleep that night. Uh, there was ice on my face, on my sleeping bag, just from the condensation and the sort of humidity in the area, and. Um, yeah, there was ice everywhere, and I woke up actually to the sound of Brad singing me a happy birthday, because that was my birthday, I was turning 14, and uh, yeah, it was kind of like a, like a bittersweet morning, because you know, I was 14, I was happy, it was my birthday, but uh, you know, my, my feet, my arms, my face were all numb, so it kind of sucked. Uh, I went out of my tent, I couldn't even put my shoes on, my hands were so just numb. And uh, luckily, Brad had a fire going for me, so he kind of, kind of saved me on that one. But yeah, so I warmed up by the fire. We cooked up some breakfast, and uh, you know, after breakfast, we wanted to try and go catch some food for the day for our lunch, maybe for dinner. So we went down to a river that was nearby. It kind of hikes out into a bit of a peninsula on the river that it kind of wraps around. So. We went out there, I thought it would be a good spot to fish right by the bend. There was some slow spots right there. It was a pretty big river, I want to say, what was it, like 40 feet, 30 feet across? It was a pretty big river, it was flowing fast, and the water temperature was probably about 35 degrees. It was cold, so uh, I, was, I was washing a pot out from breakfast in the river while Brad was doing some fishing, and I looked behind me back into the woods, and I see this sort of black figure just kind of darting between trees, and it was big. So I, I told Brad, and it's like, I think I might have just saw a bear. 